All right, question from a viewer all the way from Alamo, California. Uh, my new buddy Ken here, who just bought a Ultra 108 from us. But he has a question for me. Um, Ken, what's the question here? I guess, uh, how would you explain, you know, a statement that I sometimes think about is who showed up at, at uh, tennis today? You know, I, sometimes I feel like I leave the court going, yeah, I did good. And sometimes I feel like I leave the court um, feeling, yeah, today wasn't, I wasn't on, you know, for some reason. Uh, I think the same thing happens in a match. You know, all of a sudden things just aren't going good. Um, you know, was it the other person that did it to me or is it my own mental state? Right. You know, what, how do you, uh, what's right? You know, how do you make things right if right. they're going wrong? Perfect. That's a great, great question. All right, so I'm going to impose this question on Coach Rob. Coach Rob, what would you do? Okay, so rarely can you come out and play your best tennis every single time. Sometimes your forehand may be really working, your backhand's off, or your first serve's not going in, but you're making a lot of second serves or... Whatever the case, you want to work with what you've got that day. So if you're forehand down the line, you're missing all the time, let's go more across court. Let's have big targets uh, down the middle, put four balls in play, make the guy work hard. Um, and if he beats you, he beats you, but you don't want to beat yourself. And so if you come out and you're beating yourself and he's not doing much, to beat you, you may have to rechange your, your strategy. You're going to have to look for ways to hit a few more balls in the court. You may have to use a little more slice. Uh, if you're rallying and long points aren't going your way, switch it up. Try to attack, get the short ball, come in, make the guy pass you or lob you. Find, have more than one way to play, I guess, so that if your best style is not working, you're not sunk. You're not lost. You have a plan B. Um, that would be one way to really try to um, have variety of style so that whatever's working for you, um, you can try to keep it going. And then if that changes, go to something else. Because every time you're out there playing, um, if it's not going well, you got to find a way to stay on the court long enough for the, maybe the tennis guy to come over and look down on you and say, hey, this guy needs some help. I got to get the, I got to help him. And if you lose too quick because you're stubborn and you my forehand cross course, my only shot, and you can't hit anything else, and that's not working that day, you're going to be over and out quick and walking off the court not real happy. So that's one way to. So stick with your strategy, go down in flames faster. <laughs> All right, so I got my man Coach Goo here to answer the question too. Coach Goo, what do we do? So for me, what I think about if I'm not playing my best tennis or it's just I'm just not feeling who I am on the court, being by like by the first few balls I hit, I'm like, oh, this is not the way I like to play right now. The biggest thing I look for is my effort level. If my effort level is high and I'm like trying my best on every single point, trying to stay with it with the person, trying to get as many balls in, in the court, that's what I'm going to judge by my level if I know I don't have anything that day. So you want to control the things that you can control. So therefore your effort level and also your footwork. You can control your footwork. If you're moving your feet, the more confident you feel. So like some days like you see some pros out there or some college players who are not playing very well, they'll do their best to make sure their effort level is high and their footwork, you will start to notice that they'll move their feet a little more, um, how do I say it, a little more like faster and a little more intense because they want to make sure that this ball will go over and making sure that they're in the greatest position to hit this ball through. And lastly, um, just making sure your targets are big. So they're not going to aim for winners. Their goal is not to aim for winners. We're trying to make sure that our ball is just in the court. So basically big targets, high margins. And yeah, those are the three things I would say that kind of make sure that I'm playing like well, but not in my game. Okay, so that's Coach Goo's answer. Um, what I actually have something because sometimes you go out there and you're you hit a couple balls and you just feel drained. 
what happens if you feel drained? Would you do some Red Bull? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to do that, Harry, you can knock yourself out. Um, but the biggest thing is if you know you're drained, uh, you actually want to keep your posture up. So, like, when you actually notice when people are drained, you'll notice that they're slouching a little bit or they're coming a little down. So, like, their head, they basically, they're, you can tell by their body motion, like, their body kind of, like, posture. If they're down usually, that means their energy, they're low energy. So, there's a thing what I call fake it till you make it. So, basically, what you usually do is, even though when you're drained, you're tired, and you know you're tired, like if you win a huge point, there's a, there's a reason why pros go like the yell, yell out the biggest like come on let's go or they just get themselves kind of hyped after that point if they won. It's because therefore that reaction, their body response will be like oh okay so I'm awake now I'm like I'm, I'm getting back into this point now this is my chance to get back into the match. That's why I try to use it to my to my clients that I coach is if you're feeling low on energy. Try to have a little like positive like posture body posture and use like if you have to express yourself in one point even though you're not comfortable with it just do it because it gives your body a like physical response of like okay i'm awake i'm ready for this point all right great answer let's go right where can we find your coach group <laughs> you can find me at agu.tennis i'll also be posting content there as well, well i'm at the picturesque Lake Merced in San Francisco, California. Check out the water, guys. This is the San Francisco Lake Merced. I went to school real close by. Um, this is actually the backside of San Francisco State. Uh, go Gators for everybody who is a Gator out there. Um, so, but why am I out here? Back in the day, I used to run this lake um, two, three times a week. So the whole lake is about four and a quarter miles. And it would take me anywhere from 45 minutes to 55 minutes um, to finish it off. Now, I'm out here because the question is similar to when I used to run this lake. I mean, there are some days that I come out here feeling great, feeling energized, feeling rested, and I run this lake in literally 45 to 50 minutes. That is a great day for me, right? I start off my jog, warm up really nicely. My heart, you know, gets right into the steady beating immediately, and I finish up strong, right? That is a great run for me. 45, 50 minutes, great run for me. Um, other days that I'm 55 to an hour, um, I'm dragging, right? So I start off and you know, I really don't wanna be here, but I'm doing it. Um, I start off really sluggish, it's hard to get going, and I finish off the same way, you know, dreading the whole experience. Um, it's the same thing with tennis, right? Some days you just don't wanna be there. Now, how do you overcome that though? Well, it's like what the coaches say, try to get balls in, you know, try to get consistent, um, do a little, you know, do a little uh, more slicing, throw it up in the air, do some off speed stuff. Just make sure you get the ball in the start and see if good things happen to you. Now, the third, the third and final, t um, the third and final way that when I start my run, I mean, I really don't feel like I really wanna be here, but as I progress in the run, you know, I start steadying out and I start feeling good, right? Quarter way through the run, halfway through the run, you know, I gain energy. I gain like, like basically like a shot in the arm, shot of adrenaline, right? That can happen in a tennis match too. And I wind up feeling, you know, I wind up feeling an ending strong. So in a tennis match, that means you went down 6-2 um, or 6-1 or 6-0, and now you need to fight. Do you have that fight? Do you feel that fight now? Most people do. In that second set, you got nothing to lose now, right? So let's see if you are that fighter. Get the balls in, see what happens, go for certain shots. See what happens and see if you can win that second set, 
right? And get to that third set and then see if you can finish it and finish it strong. Just like if you were sluggish in a run to start and you finished up super strong, right? So it's kind of like those of you who are runners out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's see which three of you showed up and then let's see if you want to fight or if you see if you want to just grab a beer after an hour or less. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. <laughs> so you look like a marble sprinter. I'm not sure. ZB Chen Tennis.